What's up guys, my name is Derek Pellegrini and I've been using ZBrush basically every day since 2016 and this model that we have here on screen was fully done using ZBrush. It's based on an artwork made by Leandro Ramos and on this video I'm gonna show you guys a technique that I like to use that consists basically on using masks, extract, zero mesher, z modeler and pineal loops. For that I'm going to recreate the sneakers of this character, so let's dive right into ZBrush. First, I'm going to duplicate the body. Then I will isolate this part and use it as a base. Delete the hidden part and close the holes. Now we have a nice base to work on. Let's make a mask. Now we can use the extract to make a separated mesh. Hit the accept button to generate the new mesh. I will use only the shell of this, so let's isolate and delete the hidden part. Now we need to generate a better mesh so let's use zero measure for that. Maybe we need to use it a couple of times to get a nice result. Now I repeat this process again. Paint a mask of the shape I want. I try to be as clean as possible with my mask and my lines to have a nice extracted shape. Use the extract to make a separated mesh. Hit the accept button to generate the new mesh. Let's isolate the shell and delete the hidden parts. Now we can use the zero mesher again. And we can use it until we are happy with the results. That's looking good. I will keep making masks to generate the new meshes using the extract. The extract button is under the sub to extract sub palette and then you have the extract button. Oops, I have a little dirt in here. I will fix that by isolating only what I want and deleting the hidden part. I will repeat this process, isolate the shelf part and delete the hidden part, zero mesh it again. You can find the zero mesher under tool, geometry, zero mesher. Again I will use the paint mask brush and paint the shape I want. Extract it once more, don't forget to hit the accept button. Otherwise, when you turn your mesh, your extraction will disappear. It's time to zero mesh it again. All the zero meshes I'm doing, I'm using the half option. And I keep pushing the zero mesh button until I have a good topology. Now we create another part duplicating a previous extracted mesh. I will use the Z modeler brush and holding the Alt key, I will create a polygroup selection on my mesh. Let's isolate this new created selection and delete the hidden part. Now I will just move a little bit this part so they don't overlap each other. Let's duplicate it once more. Let's use the Z modeler again, but this time let's use the polygroup polyloop option. With that we are able to create a polygroup around a loop on our mesh. Now I will select the polygroup and delete the hidden one. Let's apply a little bit of inflate, this way one mesh don't overlap each other. Duplicate it once more. I will use the Z modeler brush, use the polygroup polyloop function again. Hit the new polygroup and use the auto groups. Isolate the polygroup I want and delete the hidden part. Select another part I don't want, invert the selection and delete the hidden part again. Seems like I missed two polygons in here, let me fix that and delete. Apply just a little bit of inflate so the mesh don't overlap. And I will keep doing this process until I have all the parts that I need to my sneakers. Paint mask selection or polygroup selection using extract and zero mesher. The great thing about this technique is that you end up with a good topology on your model. You can pretty easily make any shape you want and that's great when you're designing something, especially if you want to do something quick. Another advantage of having a mesh like this is that open UVs is going to be a little bit easier. And you can even use it for production if you are careful enough. All right. Let's duplicate the tongue mesh to create the lace of our sneakers. I will use the Z modeler brush and the polygroup. After I select what's going to be the first lace, 
I will hold the Alt key to change the polygroup color. Then I will keep going, making different polygroup colors for each lace. Now isolate the parts I don't need and delete hidden. Let's use the Z modeler again, but this time let's use the bevel on end. I will use the bevel to create a separation between the lace of my sneakers. Now just select the polygroups I want and delete the ones I don't. I believe it will work. I just need to inflate to separate a little bit from the original mesh. All right, all right, all right. Now that I have all the parts I need, I will add some thickness to it using the Pino Loops. The Pino Loops button is under Tool, Geometry, Edge Loop Sub Palette. I will repeat this process for all my meshes to add thickness to all of them. I'm gonna use the Z Modeler brush and use the Insert action on my head. If you need to see all the options you have with the Z Modeler brush, hover over your mesh and press the space bar. A menu will appear on your screen with a bunch of different options, operations and modifiers. You have different options on this menu depending on whether you're hovering over a vertex, edge or a face. I'm just using the insert edge to sustain all my meshes so they keep crispy when I use the dynamic subdivision. So now I can start to give a little bit of form to my shapes using the inflate brush in here. Like this. And I keep going around the model and adding form to the mesh. I think it's looking good for now. Just a bit more in here. I need to fix this back part over here. A little bit of inflate. It'll move and I think I think we are done. To make these sneakers eyelets, I will use the insert mood mesh model kit. Press M to open the menu with all the parts and I'm gonna select the pipe 8. Now I will carefully insert the eyelets on the upper part of my sneakers. Just drag and drop. Now I can press the W key and use the move gizmo to place my eyelids on the perfect position. Like this. Alright. We are almost there. Just a little bit. Okay, just need to move a little bit the lace mesh. Alright. And now I'm gonna replicate the same process for all the eyelets. If you hold the control key and move, ZBrush will create a copy of the unmasked part. Just need to fix my upper part with the move brush. Now I use the inflate on this one. You can find the inflate on two under deformation. Scale down a little and yeah, I think I think it's done. I want to add a detail on the base. For that, I use an insert multi mesh brush that I created. But but first, I need a nice surface to use my insert brush on. I use the same techniques as before to do that. Loops, selection, where selection, delete hidden. This brush is pretty much an open cylinder that I use with the curve mode option on. I just need to drag, hold the shift key and drop on a mesh, then my cylinder will go around the loop. Now I just need to delete the mesh that I use as a base and we are done. I think it's looking good. Now the character has a nice sneakers. I'm missing colors on these sneakers, so let's fix that. Using the color menu and the fill object button. This will add the color you have on your color selector to the mesh you have selected. 
Just remember to turn on the RGB option on your brush, otherwise this will not work. You can find the RGB button in the draw menu. Since I have separated pieces, it's easy to add colors as I want. So I think it's looking good. Now I have a nice sneakers with clean topology done using zero mesh and pino loops. Yeah. Okay, so we are done. I hope you guys enjoy it and ciao.